Good Saturday morning, everybody. Glad to have you here today. If you will, like, share, or comment on the post, and I will be grateful for that. And then, if you will, join me in Acts chapter 28, beginning in verse 23. We see here Paul again under house arrest. Says when they had appointed a day for him, they came to him at his lodging in greater numbers. From morning till evening, he expounded to them, testifying to the kingdom of God and trying to convince them about Jesus, both from the law of Moses and from the prophets. And some were convinced about what he said, but others disbelieved. Paul is um, giving us a uh, somewhat of a model uh, in reaching our city uh, for Jesus Christ. We noticed in the previous verses, uh, he had met them. Uh, you can't evangelize someone till you meet them. He had uh, introduced himself and told some of his story, and then he moves into a very clear uh, explanation of the gospel. Uh, we sometimes make the mistake of thinking, uh, well, perhaps we don't want to offend someone or uh, we don't want to come across as pushy. Uh, Paul doesn't seem to have uh, that fear. Uh, he goes directly into the gospel. He expounds to them, testifying to the kingdom of God and trying to convince them uh, about Jesus. Packed house here, and Paul moves in and begins to explain to them exactly uh, who the Messiah was, uh, that Jesus Christ had been the Messiah that Israel had looked for for, uh, for all these many years, and that he had came and that uh, he would be returning uh, to earth uh, to set up his kingdom. Uh, and uh, he just simply preaches uh, the word of God. He doesn't uh, hesitate. He doesn't, uh, again, uh, give it any uh, spin, if you will. He just preaches the simple uh, word of God. And then we see uh, the results here. It says some were convinced, but others uh, disbelieved. And that. Um, should be an encouragement uh, even for the believer today. Uh, I know it's easy to focus on the, um, uh, probably, uh, I don't know, uh, audience this morning may be split somewhere. Uh, some will focus on the fact that some, uh, some were convinced, while others focused on the fact that some disbelieved. But uh, for you and I today, uh, that served really as an encouragement to us to continue uh, to proclaim the gospel. And even in the face of uh, defeat or rejection or those who uh, would uh, refuse to hear the gospel, uh, that even when Paul preached the gospel, some uh, refused to be convinced. And so we can expect uh, defeat, we can expect rejection, um, but we also should expect on occasion uh, to have victory. And that victory came again because Paul was preaching the gospel. I am a firm believer in what uh, is often labeled as lifestyle evangelism. We need to live a life uh, that uh, exemplifies Christ, that causes others to see Jesus in us, uh, and uh, even makes them wonder, perhaps even uh, come up and, and, quite frankly, just directly ask us, uh, what is it different about you? How can you uh, deal with being laid off and, and uh, not lose your mind? How can you deal with sickness? How can you uh, face adversity and, uh, and not be overwhelmed by those things and given us an opportunity uh, to present the gospel. But um, we see too many instances in Scripture uh, where the, the, the apostles, where uh, the church doesn't wait uh, for that opportunity. They make that opportunity, and Paul does that. Uh, he has this group here, and of all the things that he could have talked to them about, uh, he could have talked to them about his unfair arrest, his pending trial, he goes directly to preaching the gospel. I want to encourage you today, uh, as you go out uh, and you interact with people, uh, don't miss an opportunity uh, to be direct about the gospel, to tell someone uh, about Jesus Christ. Practice lifestyle evangelism, sure. Uh, let others see Jesus in how we treat people, how we talk to people, how we conduct our business, uh, 
but um, when all else fails, and I don't remember who said it, and I'm, I'm not wording it correctly, uh, but when all else fails, preach the gospel. Remember that today. Tell somebody about Jesus. You have a good day, and we will see you here uh, tomorrow morning, or excuse me, Monday morning.